What's up, everyone? Welcome to our Patch Tuesday recap of May 2024. If you're watching this, congratulations. You somehow managed to survive the absolute onslaught of patches that we got last month from Microsoft. I want to say there was like 150-ish. So I know your, your hard work, your efforts that really paid off. And uh, to show gr our gratitude, we get to do it all over again. That's right, May Patch Tuesday is here. And this is me dying on the inside a little bit. Let's dive into it and see what we get for this month. See if it's as bad as last month. So total exploits patch 62. And that's already looking a heck. That's like a third of last month. So we will take that as a, at least a small win. Critical patches one, also not too bad. Already known and exploited three. So let's dive into some of the highlights or low lights. First, let's start off with the uh, CVE 2024-3004. Four. Did I get that right? Now this vulnerability is listed as critical and this involves Microsoft SharePoint server, which can, uh, a vulnerability that leads to remote code execution. If you're uh, unfamiliar with remote code executions, they allow bad actors to remotely execute code on a targeted endpoint. This one could allow a, an attacker to take advantage of remote code execution, but requires the attacker to be authenticated as a site owner permission on your SharePoint server. So there's that one to look out for. So that's the only critical one we have to worry about. The rest we're looking at. So we have the uh, our highest rated CVSS vulnerability, which comes in at a nine, and that's going to be CVE 2024-32002. Now this one's a bit of an oddity. This one, if you look into it, it's actually uh, kind of belongs to the GitHub family, and it's actually associated with MinGit software, but that software is then utilized by Visual Studio. So ultimately Microsoft is releasing a patch for this. Uh, in fact, they already have, so I would go out there and make sure that your Visual Studio is up to date. This one takes advantage of recursive clones uh, on case-insensitive file systems that support symbolic links, and which will allow for remote code execution. Again, this one, Visual Studio Code, doesn't really necessarily belong to Microsoft, but they're patching it anyways to make sure the vulnerability is fixed for you. And our last highlight here is CVE 2024-30051. And we're highlighting this one because this one is known publicly and is known to be exploited already out in the wild. So uh, this one takes advantage of a heat buffer overflow exposure in desktop windows manager, and it allows for an elevation of privileges. So again, this one being like, if you look at the vulnerability itself and the number of people that Microsoft credited for reporting this vulnerability, it means that it's pretty widespread out there and already taken advantage of. So definitely, get this one tested and patched as soon as you can. That wraps up our highlights, guys. If you are struggling to take care of your patch management needs, uh, make sure to look into PDQ uh, Deploy and Inventory or PDQ Connect. They'll automate everything for you so Patch Tuesday can come and go and you can just chillax the entire time. You don't have to worry about it. If you got any questions about any of this, make sure to hit us up down in the comments down below. You can always reach out to us on Discord as well. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more PDQ content. And as always, thank you for watching. For PDQ, I'm Brock. <laughs>